So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. These beautiful words found in Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians tell us a great deal about godly love. Godly love can never just be categorical. It always has to be personal. Now, hate, unfortunately, can easily be categorical. We can hate a whole category of people. We can hate a whole category of ideas. This, in fact, is the only reason that we humans are even capable of engaging in something like warfare. But love is different. Love is never just categorical. It always has to be personal. When we're faced with situations where people seem to not be getting enough love, not be getting their needs met in the public sphere, we all too quickly resort to movements as if they are the end-all and be-all that's going to solve all our problems. The Civil Rights Movement, the Me Too Movement, the list goes on and on. And none of these, of course, are bad, and sometimes they're quite appropriate. But by themselves, they are never enough. What we are always called to do is to look at each and every person with whom we are presented and figure out a way that we can say, honestly, we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. Until church, we can look at the person in the pews next to us, at the person in the grocery store line next to us, at the person halfway around the world that we encounter virtually, and say that, meaning it truly from our hearts, we have not yet arrived at the destination. Because God in Christ loves us personally, calls us each by name, and we, made in God's own image, are called to do the same with one another.